Hey there, this is Mia here with Design, and today we're going over the basics of getting started with Design. Let's jump right in. First, let's search for Design AI in your browser or click the link below to reach the Design homepage. Click Start for free and sign up using your Google account or email. Now let's enter your email, password, agree to the terms, and hit continue. You'll receive a verification code via email. Use it to confirm your email address. Next, you can pick a plan that fits your needs or click continue with free below for next steps. Answer a few survey questions and you'll land on the design dashboard. Once logged in, you can watch the quick start tutorial. If you need more help, you can find all our tutorials in the tutorial section. Design gives you a free start with 100 credits and a seven day premium trial. You also get 30 free credits daily. If you choose to upgrade, Design offers monthly and annual plans with a 20% discount for annual payments. Unused credits can roll over to the next month within limits. For more details, visit the pricing page. On Design's dashboard, the left-hand menu gives you quick access to your home, projects, pricing, tutorials, and more, with your profile and credits display at the top. In the central area, you'll see your recent projects with options above to view all projects, or import a PSD file to get started. Below that, you'll find the main AI tools, along with features like Style Swapper, Style Learner to customize your style, and a variety of templates to jumpstart your projects. You can also access all of these directly in the project workspace. Now let's see an example project to get familiar with the project workspace. The center canvas is your main workspace for viewing and editing designs. Changes from the left sidebar tools top toolbar or right sidebar will reflect here. When a layer is selected, the layer tools become available and we can edit the layer. Click select to enter selection mode and we can edit the chosen area. You can select an area to edit and refine your selection by using the lasso tool, brushing over the area or letting AI auto select the area you click. Use union to add to your selection subtract to remove from it, and invert to select the opposite area. You can also clear your selection entirely. Once you've selected an area, you can edit it using the text to image tool. Insert objects based on the reference image or remove objects altogether. You can also duplicate the area to create a new layer or delete it to remove the selection. Use the AI eraser to remove unwanted objects. If a layer has a clear subject, you can remove the background with just one click. To refine a cutout further, use edit cutout to erase or restore parts of it. With crop, you can trim a specific layer. And we can also turn any layer into SVG file, which we can download and use in web projects or import into another vector-based design tools. Of course, we can also download the layer as an image or share it with others. We'll cover these features in more detail in later tutorials. The left sidebar holds all of Design's powerful AI tools. As technology develops, new tools are constantly being added here. We'll explore each of them in more detail in future episodes. The top toolbar allows you to manage your project. You can change names and canvas dimensions or customize the aspect ratio by typing in the width and height. With the Move tool, you can move the image on the canvas like this. When you hover over the top and see a cross sign, you can rotate the image by holding down the mouse. There's also an Upload button for you to upload your image here. We can add text to the canvas. We we'll use the Brush tool to draw on the canvas. If you select Draw on Blank Canvas, you'll start with a solid background, where you can change the stroke size adjust the color and the opacity, and use the eraser when you make a mistake. Once you're done and click Done, a new layer will be added to the layer panel. If you choose Draw on Current Canvas, your drawing will appear on top of the existing images. When you click Done, it will create a layer with transparent background. So you can integrate your drawing with the previous design. You can use the hand grip to move the entire canvas around like so. With Fit to Content, you can adjust the canvas boundary to fit the content. We can also undo and redo our actions here on the right-hand side. To adjust the view, we can change the zoom percentage, view at actual size, or fit the canvas to the screen. On the right, we can see our remaining credits, current plan, and the date of the building cycle. 
Click the export button to export to different file types. Upscale the image, remove watermark, and you can also choose to download the current view or zip and download each layer separately. On the right sidebar, the results tab shows AI-generated outputs, while the layer tab lets you organize elements order to control what appears in front or behind in your design. Click the three dots on the layer to bring it forward or backward. Rename, download, or delete it. You can also right-click the layer for additional actions such as duplicating it or flipping it horizontally or vertically. In the results tabs, you can click the eye icon to view the prompt and settings used to generate the results. You can also copy the prompt to reuse. You also have the options to share, download, or compare the results with the previous design by holding the compare button. For most generations, you can create variations similar to a specific result. Simply hover over the number next to variation and the corresponding result will be highlighted. Click on it to generate more variations of that result. If you find a desired outcome, double click to send a new image to the canvas. It will also appear as a new layer in the layer panel. If you're on the free plan, your generated images will show up in the community feed, similar to how Midjourney works. You can find a community section on the main dashboard where you can explore and get inspiration from other users. Just click on an image to see the prompt, style, and settings they use. If you want to try it yourself, click Try to Generate, and it will send the same prompt and settings to your project workspace so you can experiment with similar results. For paid users, your images stay private and won't appear in the community feed. Plus, you'll get the bonus of being able to use your generated images commercially. Now that you're familiar with design, workspace, and tools, you're ready to start creating. In the next episode, we'll show you how to transform your own image with AI. See you in the next one.